What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today, I'm back with a brand new video. Free Agent Player Preview Series, Episode 3, Tyrell Williams. Let's get right into it. So before I even start with this video, I have to let you guys know, today, one year ago, was my first ever video posted to this channel. So it's pretty crazy that I've been able to do this for this long and pump out some videos for you guys and that you guys can enjoy watching. So if you guys don't mind, hit that like button down below, show your support, tell me you guys want more of me. Also, if you guys haven't heard of it already, there is a Buffalo Fanatics Discord chat. It's a lot of fun. It's blowing up. It's popping right now. Literally anything Bills related, topics, discussion, it's a lot of fun. And click the link in the description. It'll take you guys there. Also, if you guys have Instagram, please don't be afraid to follow me at Elite Fanatic. I post there literally every single day on my story, and it's a lot of fun. So go check me out. I've also decided that once I hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A. So go follow me over there because I really want to do a live Q&A for you guys so that you guys can ask me personal questions, bills related questions, any questions you guys come up with. I would love to connect more with you guys. I always love connecting with the Bills Mafia. So go down in the description, click the link to my profile, follow me. I can't wait to do that for you guys. But without any further introduction, Let's get into the video. So Tyrell Williams, he's six foot four, roughly 205 pounds, and he's 27 years old. Now here's some interesting history about him. He played D2 college football, and he was considered by a lot of people to be a long shot, even to come close to making it in the NFL. Because he played Division II college football, he didn't get an invite to the combine. He actually took his skills to other facilities and he did the 40 yard dash and all the other stuff, but he ran a 4 3 5 40 yard dash. So this guy's got a little bit of speed. I mean, he's not bad, not bad, right? And in the same year, he went undrafted, signed with the, at the time, San Diego Chargers, and he's still with the Chargers today. Now, something interesting to know about him, in the last three years, no injuries, never missing a game in the last three years. You know what team always gets injuries or has problem at the wide receiver position? Yeah, it's our Buffalo Bills. We could benefit from a guy who, you know, doesn't get injured all the time. Now the problem is he does believe he's a number one wide receiver and with that comes a lot of money. I expect him to probably get a deal since he's 27, probably from around four to five years makes sense. So he can be like, okay, well I can finish up my career or whatever. And I think eight to nine million a year is probably what he's gonna get. And the reason why is because there's not a lot of names in free agency. He believes he's the number one wide receiver and he actually had a pretty decent season behind Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. He had 41 receptions for 653 receiving yards and five touchdowns. So as the number two, number three wide receiver, that's not technically bad. Now this move could definitely help us or bite us in the butt. It really depends on how he plays, how he comes to the team, you know, his mentality for playing. Is he kind of the guy that once he gets a big contract, he's just going to be like, doesn't matter anymore. I've got guaranteed money, you know, or is he a guy that says, you know what? I want to be the best there is. But personally, I'm not a big fan of this move. I don't want to see the Bills go out and spend a ton of money on a wide receiver when they could just draft one early. I think it's actually smarter for the Bills to go out and draft a guy in the first, second or third round or maybe trade away one of those draft picks for a guy who's younger, better, cheaper maybe? I don't know. What do you guys think? But why does this make sense? Bills need a wide receiver. They haven't had a number one wide receiver since Stevie Johnson, Lee Evans, Eric Moulds. I mean, seriously, when's the last time the Bills actually had a true number one? You can't say Sammy because he was never on the field. He wakes up, he takes one step and boom, injury, sorry. So it's safe to say that didn't work out. But the Bills need to figure out what they're going to do here. I mean, they need to get a wide receiver, no doubt. With Zay Jones, Robert Foster, and Isaiah McKenzie is probably the top guys. Plus, there's Dequeel Duke Williams, and he played in the CFL last couple of years, and he was considered the best. So does he come to the NFL and, and bring some of his physically gifted talents 
to the Bills roster, I mean, we need any guy we can get, literally any guy we can get that's going to be somewhat decent. I don't even care if they go to the AAF and go and go find somebody there, but they need a guy. They need a number one guy through the draft or through a trade. They need to do something or for free agency. Is this the move? What do you guys think down below? But I'm pretty sure I've said all I need to say, so I'm going to get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up down below. Comment your opinions as always. If you guys haven't done already, please go subscribe to the channel for more amazing Buffalo Bills content. But I'll see you guys next time. Go Bills, God bless, and peace.